What do you guys think? Like Watch, it. we're about to peel it right now. Whoosh. All right, this is our Stone Coat Thickener. It's really easy to use. It gives you a unique look, a fun look, and it's gonna make these walls really come to life when you walk in this master suite. Hey, what's up everybody? Luke here with Stone Coat, and today we have the pleasure of watching Mike Quist apply epoxy onto this wall. So step one, we need a print. Make sure to tape and mask off anything that you don't want the epoxy to potentially get on, and you'll be good to go. Ready? Yep. All right, guys, I'm gonna do a base coat on these walls first. Just a really contrasting color to this light blue. I wanna walk in and see a really flamboyant Venetian plaster on steroids here. So what should I do? What would you guys choose? I got blue earth, sky blue, ocean blue metallic, and crater lake. And honestly, right now, I'm leaning towards Crater Lake. All right, this is our stone coat thickener. This is an organic-based material that thickens the epoxy. It's really easy to use. I like to start with a one-to-one -one ratio, meaning if I have half a bucket of epoxy, I'm gonna fill the other half with my thickener, I'm gonna thicken it, and then I'm gonna add the color. That way I know how intense that color is, and I could add more. Now remember, when you're doing our vertical wall system, the sheen level is automatically gonna be knocked down because of the thickener, and the intensity of your colors and your metallics is also going to be knocked down because of the thickener. It gives you a unique look, a fun look, and it's gonna make these walls really come to life when you walk in this master suite. tip when using our thickener start slow when mixing really start to mix that in and don't go vigorously until it's mixed in or else you'll get a cloud of thickener pro tip it's not going to look like much is happening until it starts to mix in and then you'll really see it start to thicken up and become trowelable for your walls Look at that, it's starting to thicken. And it's quite easy to mix after you get it going. All right, I'm gonna add our metallic color now and I'm gonna add that Crater Lake Blue. Here we go. And I want this quite intense, so I think I'll just add the whole bag here. Let's try it. Whoa, 
I added about three quarters of a bag. Let's mix that up. Okay, I think that's gonna give me a good base color. Let's try it out. You guys ready? Question of the day, what color would you have chosen if this was your base color, this baby blue, this soft sky blue that goes with the ocean? Would you have chosen the same thing, the Crater Lake, or would you have picked something different? Let me know in those comments below. I wanna know what the masses would choose because again, we're trying to appease the masses with this rental unit. And that amount of thickener is really perfect for what I'm doing here. It's, it's working good. The epoxy's not just sliding down the wall. I'm just hiding any of the man-madeness that I can just to give it almost like a 3D painting, you know? Just skipping that trowel along the surface here. The texture will be fun to mess with, but this is gonna give you that ocean vibe. What Mitch is doing here is simply mixing some of our metallic colors into a spray bottle with 91% isopropyl alcohol. We do about half a bag per eight ounces of alcohol. Shake that up, and when you spray that on the wall, it's gonna give some really cool color effects and start making this come to life. As you can see, there's really no right or wrong way to get this epoxy onto the wall. Mike is simply using a trowel and just spreading it around. So pro tip, just make sure you get that whole surface covered. Also, if you're applying this over textured drywall, just keep in mind that that texture will most likely come through depending on how opaque your effects are. I'm actually liking putting it on a little thinner. It's giving some of that accent color looks like underwater. Yeah, this looks really good. How long do you have to work with it? Does the thickener slow the you know, set time? Or it actually it speeds it up, man. Okay. Great question, yeah. It speeds up the uh, how fast it sets, but you know, instead of using our quick coat and thickening that, we use our normal countertop epoxy because that has a little longer open time. But, you know, we're at 75 degrees in a little bit of humidity today. So mm -hmm. it's going to set up pretty, you know, I'd say we got a good 40 minutes to play with it because it's on the wall. I got it out of my trowel. So now I'm just kind of cutting it in using that trowel and then I'll add my accent colors after I got my base on my wall. That way, once I smooth those accent colors out to my liking, I'm done and I can focus on below. You know, I'm gonna mix yeah. up a little bit more epoxy, but it's okay, do, do multiple pours just following the same recipe. Right, yeah. it looks easy. It is, man. You know, and this stuff's starting to starting to set up a little bit, so it's good time to come in here and do this. And I've only been working at what, about 20 minutes? Yeah, that actually goes quite a ways, man, with just a little amount of epoxy that we used. Yeah, how many ounces did you mix? 30 ounces. Okay. Choose an accent wall, choose an alcove, choose something that's, you know. That's a good wall to choose in this room. To accentuate, you know. You'll see it right when you walk in. And it'll play a trick on you. You're like, what am I looking at here? How did they do that? Mm -hmm. What kind of paint is that, you know? Yeah, they'll come up and touch it like the log in your in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna spray some of this on and just see what happens. And that's a little gold. That'll look cool in there.
Okay, now I'm just gonna trowel it, I think, one more time. Yeah, I think it looks unique, dude. Hey, have you seen our ocean floor video where Mike pours epoxy over a tile floor entryway? We made this look like the deep blue ocean and it's a really sick project. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. You might learn a thing or two about stone coat flooring epoxy. I'm gonna add some more gold and use the glove, dude. Let me have a squirt, uh, another glove I'm gonna use as like a trail. I think that'll look kinda neat, actually. I'm just using the back of my hand. Pretty inexpensive tool. Still pretty, still lots of working time? Yeah, enough. It's not sagging at all. No. Yeah, that texture, whatever you're doing there, is looking really cool back here. Damn, that's it cool. looks, it looks like water ocean stuff, man. Yeah, that's cool. Great. Yeah, I like that, man. Actually, doing that first initial one's good, too, because it gives you some faded out stuff, because it's more subtle but I actually didn't shake the can too much so it sucked up a lot of metallic. Real concentrated. Mm-hmm. I think walking in, it'll look unique, dude. All right, guys, we're just using a rag and some isopropyl alcohol to clean our tools and you'll get your, uh, you'll get your tools nice and clean and be able to use them on your next drywall project. All right, guys, I'm gonna add a few accents with some spray paint, just some highlights the blue, I step back, it's a little bit flamboyant to me. I'm gonna tone it down slightly with some of the same blues I used in other projects on this same building. All right, here we go. Just fade in some of those edges too. Kind of make it glow in the middle. What's nice is you'll still have all that texture It'll kind of bring your eye into the middle of this project. Just a little highlight colors, man. Yeah, that was great. That looks better, huh? Yeah, yeah, it looks great with that here too. Really Go look at it. Yeah, dude, it looks like coral. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just leave that, dude.
That looks pretty cool, man. Yeah, it looks good with that wood popping. It does. I think it looks nice, dude. All right, everybody, it is seriously that simple. Prep the area, mix the epoxy, put it on the wall, add your effects, wait a little bit, deep prep, and you are done. And now you have a beautiful accent wall for your home and other spaces. So let me know, what do you think about this accent wall? Could you see something like this in your home? And if not, what would you do in your home? Let me know in the comments below. And from Stone Coat Countertops, you got this. We'll see you on the next video. Bonus content! Stoke Oak on a time